I just want to say one or two more things before I lead us into some prayer. All that we are contending for right now is not for or about us. It's about Him. He is the one intent upon reaping this great harvest, taking out these giants, rolling away the reproach, and bringing the greatest outpouring of his spirit in the history of planet Earth. He is intent upon doing this. And we do not need to allow the enemy to distract us in a way that we begin to think this is about the church, this is about how strong we are, what we can accomplish, can we do this, can we overcome, can can this ever really happen? And then the next thing you know, we're allowing it to devolve into political parties and racial divides and all kinds of stuff out there and God is saying do not be distracted by this stuff those these are mocking spirits of death and darkness that I am going to deal with I'm just going to use you and your prayers but it's my power and it's my kingdom and it's my harvest and you need to know I'm going to get this done here's what I think is going to happen The revival coming is going to be so profound and powerful. The power and the glory of God that that he is going to release will be so powerful that What Satan has been building for decades will be dismantled, as it were, in many places overnight. And and the mocking and 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 the death and the strongholds that think they have won, I I feel like it'll, it'll it'll probably be pretty pretty similar to Calvary. That they think they've got this wrapped up. We just took out the Son of God. And they don't know that God's been using all this to play into His hand. And that He's been orchestrating things behind the scenes. And that angels have been busy. God has been busy. Working, 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 working. And one day you go to bed, devil, thinking you won the next day you wake up and the grave the tomb is empty and then you realize the blood that you shed that you that God used you to deliver redeemed the human race that you controlled and you wake up thinking what have I done what have I done And so, Lord, we just now stand before you, remembering these words, remembering the scriptures. The giant lived up on a hill for decades, decades, controlled the whole region. And your man of faith took him out in a day. gave that city back to you and showed the world again what covenant friendship with God looked like and David fought through the caves and the spears and the hungry days and nights and he raised up the greatest army that's ever walked the face of the earth and He established your throne. 
you're so pleased you call yourself his son the son of David and you are the God who rolls away reproach you are the God who understands and knows how to overcome barrenness spiritual sterility and death you're going to release a river Ezekiel 47 that flows through that same desert region and everything the river every place the river goes and everything it touches lives because there's resurrection power in this river The river of death is cut off and the river of life flows. And you're going to flow to America. You're going to flow from America. You're going to restore America to our place, our walk with you, our covenant with you. I'm just going to decree right now, Lord, because I, this is what I feel from your spirit. You're going to move into Washington, D.C. And you're going to put a person in the White House again that will honor you, pray, worship you. People will be born again in the White House, filled with the Spirit. Devils will be cast out. You're going to move back into that city and you're going to roll off the reproach. You're going to move into the campuses of America and you're going to bring such a wave of revival that a generation 50 years old and down that was indoctrinated with all sorts of stupidity is and right on down to the kids now that you're going to you're going to roll that back in a in days in weeks just lord in a in, in a short span of time and you're going to open the eyes of a generation to who you are and Arbaugh is coming off of that hill Arbaugh is coming off of that Capitol Hill he's coming off of the hill and Hebron covenant friendship with God will once again be celebrated in the, in the land and we will experience Isaiah 60 the light will come and kings around the world will come to the brightness of the shining of your glory and all the earth will be filled with the glory your glory like the waters cover the sea and your spirit will be poured out on all flesh and the sons and daughters will prophesy and dreams and visions will permeate the young and the old alike and the former and latter rays will come together and the harvest will be so great that the plowman overtakes the reaper the strongholds of death and destruction and deception and perversion and idolatry and covenant breaking and hatred and division and strife and racism all of these demons principalities and certainly the shedding of innocent blood these spirits are going to be conquered and Hebron will be pioneered again we just now we release again as we do daily we speak into this nation outpouring life the spirit of revival the spirit of life light the power of God the 
Spirit of God, the angels of God, the salvation of the Lord. We release that into our nation from east to west, north to south. We release the power of the gospel and we release the confirming power of signs and wonders. We release a presence movement that will, that will be used by you to release such a, a level of presence with you that millions will taste and see how good you are. 